Hello. Do you hear me? Hello? Anyone? My chat is still. Hello? To England. <clears throat> Look. I just get notification that we have to close our chickens because we sometimes forget. And then it's, uh, it's not good. So... Hello, Imogen. You are still awake. <laughs> uh, Imogen is a little girl from England that I really love. We have few lessons together and she's just a cute girl, very talented girl. So, um, I have a plan today to mix my pouring medium glue with glue and mix paint and everything in front of you and then we'll, you can uh, you will be able to ask me but first things first first i want to show you some of my dry results this one is the one with that i did few split cups uh, one split cup but few pours and because of this iridescent pebeo paints it looks just fantastic because it's just gorgeous I like this painting very much and then another one that I really like is this one that I did with pearl white because it became so soft and it's it looks like nature with some river and a blue sky and some branches and some grass and I don't know I'm in love with this one too obviously greens and blues are my favorites lately or something I don't know why you don't Okay, so I will put it here. The next one I think that I didn't show is the black and white one with this. I see a tree. I don't know <clears throat> what you see. This one is, you know, on this deep edged canvas. Uh, I like the movement too of this painting. <clears throat> Sorry. So this is this one. And the one that I did for my new granddaughter Tia with fluorescent paints. You see how this fluorescent magenta dried totally red. But I love this. I don't know how it dries. It has a little mistake here but doesn't matter so much i like this one too i like this split cup course i don't know <laughs> um what else yes i didn't do live last week so i have a lot of painting to, paintings to show you and this one is dry too this gold 
really takes over here. I don't know, but it's kind of interesting painting too. I like this tree or phoenix or even I even saw a chicken here. <laughs> I don't know why, because we have chickens with some long uh, tails. So maybe that's why. I don't know. So this one is dry. Uh, and the red flower with reflex orange here doesn't look orange but in because it mixes with this red but it gives some shine to this red and it really looks 3d and this gold does take a little over but not too much so I'm pretty happy uh, with this one too and I experimented with some um, iridescent paints from Arteza but I didn't do a video of it I just tried to see how they they look and they look look quite nice I just did a little split cup or just to see how they look and they are really you see from blue to violet they are kind of nice and you have uh, opera rose and blues and gold is not dry yet but it's drying this sapphire Blue tends to grow and grow and grow. I don't know how this will dry, but it's interesting flower too, but not as nice as I think that it would be. And probably this is all that I did these two weeks or no, it's not all I have some canvases that I didn't film and I think that I did this one too this one dried so differently if you remember this one was done with violet Conecodon magenta I think orange and yellow and you see how orange totally over you see uh, this um, dark, dark violet in real, but this one dries really different. So, but that's how it is. And this is one of my canvases that I just, whoop, I did just for trying to see how this paints. I don't know this. Uh, mixture of pearl white will look like see in a straight pour I think that I just throw some paint on canvas and tilt it so think that this is it oh and I played with chameleon cells off camera so try to do something nice but you just a little test canvas just to to see if I can but I'm really not good with this lipping thing <laughs> uh, I try to do some flowers with chameleon technique and it's turned out kind of cute so I will not show you everything because I did some other things too. So, what? Um, so this is this is it. <coughs> Sorry, but I like to show my uh, dry results 
in my uh, live videos on Sunday because I think that if I would do this in my videos that they will be too long so but I don't know so I decided that I will mix all things from scratch today so this is my glue I don't have Elmer's glue all because I just can't buy it here so I have just PVA glue this is school glue and I will mix it with water to get my pouring medium and I will mix it 60% of glue and 20% 40% uh, water so this was my glue uh, I didn't want to mix anything before because I want you to see that I I will use this pouring medium <clears throat> so because a lot of you um, try to do flower dips reverse flower dips with this technique and it didn't work so I I'm reading your comments because uh, you can ask something if you want um about mixing if you want any that um answer that maybe i didn't tell so this is just glue and water 60 percent if i may be said wrong you know glue mixture is 60 40 normally or 70 30 i don't know i use 60 40 and this is how thin my glue mixture is you see it's like almost like water and i even have my scale here that i will do this totally I will measure so that we will see and I will measure in fluid ounces so because you use ounces I will use ounces too so I hope that you see my scale um, what I want to do for a background because I have some oranges and turquoises but I really like black background, so I will do a black background. So, for the background, I will need a little more paint. So, I will pour in just a second because I normally <laughs> measure, I don't know, normally measure. So, three ounces is about 100 milliliters. No, I will put one ounce and a half of my pouring medium okay and one ounce and a half of my black so all together has to be three ounces <gasps> okay it's, it is and I will mix. Uh, I know some people mix 70 30. Um, I normally don't use glue, I don't use glue for my pores. I do this just for you to maybe help you that you will be able to get. I don't know if this will turn out as paints a little thinner so I added a little water with these measurements that's how it is you can tell one part glue to one part paint but every paint is different so you have to correct that with water so you start with this one to one ratio one part pouring medium to one part paint and then you correct with with water to get the consistency you can't 
just pour this in and that it will be just right because that's that doesn't work like that so this is the consistency for my background probably you will be not you will not see this because it's black um it's hard to see with the black paint it it leaves a tiny tiny mount and disappears immediately maybe just a little more water you have to have your base coat fluid that paint will flow from your cup easily so I just hope that I will have enough black for my canvas because I don't want to mix too much paint because I I really don't use it I don't like to use glue I like my pouring medium so leaves a tiny tiny mount and disappears this is how your background color should look paint should look and now to the other paints okay so I will use this Prussian blue phthalo Prussian phthalo blue from Amsterdam and I will add an ounce of my pouring medium <clears throat> and an ounce of a paint so two ounces together okay two ounces and um, you know if you use different brands it's different but uh, you just can start with one to one ratio and then as I said, and then you will correct them if needed. And some paints will definitely need correction. So this is a little thick, so a little water. And then I will probably, this one is too dark too to show you the consistency, but I will get to the brighter ones and I will show you. Dormitecha. Okay. It leaves a mound, a little mound on a mound, you see? And if you do a circle, it stays about, I don't know, a second, two seconds on the surface. One, two, yes two seconds I will show you consistency with some brighter colors so I will just check comments a little bit just a second mm. are people see them go Uh, are those sticks uh, Tracy no Tracy they are not wooden sticks they are you see I don't know if this is silicone I think that they are not silicone but um, plastic. plastic some kind of but it's you see very flexible and they are good because I just put them and then just peel off my paint so they are totally reusable and easy to reuse, so that's why I like them. My pouring medium. If I don't, I don't use glue. I use. Um, I check my channel. Macht uh, up. Uh, you will find my mixing video there. So today is all about the glue. Let's go to another one. One ounce of glue. I know that it, this takes quite some time, but uh, I want to mix all things in front of you just to 
make sure that you see everything and that you can ask something if you want some this this one is turquoise green Amsterdam turquoise green I will I will mix my pearl white tooth that uh, creates lacing and I have some extreme sheen paints too I will mix them and this create this lacing so this is just right without any water just a second i i will try to i don't know put it like this you see this is the consistency of my paints for reverse flower dips i use the same consistency for ring pores you see okay next one so that uh, i get let's mix our pearl white now just whoops focus okay are we focused yes we are mm -hmm. for the pearl white mixture i use amsterdam titanium white windsor and newton titanium white i used my mieri titanium white i use basner just what i have and they work all work because some people said say that uh, amsterdam paints different brands of pearl, um, titanium white too so i'm adding oops i i mean to add half an ounce but i add 0.7 ounce of white so you have to shake your pearl medium and 0.7 of my pearl medium has to be let's do it like this that we will have three ounces in total okay and then i mix my white with this pearl so one to one titanium white to pearl medium and then i have an ounce and a half of this mixture and i will add an so it will be uh, three ounces in total see and mix and this will be our our magic ingredient to to get some lacing hopefully get us go for the cups flower shaped cups as I already tell you um, that I um, cooperate with um, the guy from Etsy that uh, I bought my split cup and he did a prototype of a flower shaped cup 3D printed and it will be from two parts so you will be able to use use it for open cup or for uh, it's not in his shop so you will have to wait a few days more so we mix <coughs> pearl white it's a lot to mix in front of you you see that's why i don't mix my paints in every video because it every video will be how i mix one ounce of paint uh, pouring medium and i have something in there 
and I will use vermilion and one ounce of vermilion okay uh, I could um, no I couldn't uh, show I can't show you uh, the photo of uh, because I I videotaping with my phone and I have phone my uh, photos on my phone but you will definitely I will do um, a review as soon as I get my cup so you will be able to to buy it on the Etsy store hmm? okay so this is our vermilion our orange see consistency again the same okay and I will mix this um, iridescent orange yellow next I will try to mix this fast but I have just this uh, Pebeo paints tends to be a little thicker so we will see <clears throat> then Amsterdam and if you have heavy body paints don't do that uh, don't pour your pouring medium first and then add your heavy body paints because you will get so many uh, lumps in it or something you with and then mix it and then add pouring medium because it will co cooperate in your pouring medium easier so you see this one is a little thicker so here comes your water you have to to do that you start with one to one ratio and then correct things with water it it doesn't work like that that we can give you exactly the right amount of um, pouring medium and paint and you will be good no you have to start somewhere and with glue I start with one to one ratio and then adding water with my pouring medium I start with two parts pouring medium one part paint and then correct them with water so this is it and next one these are uh, Decart Extreme Sheen paints but we have them in some different bottles but they are the same as your uh they call it extreme sheen paints and these paints are the ones that create lacing too so and with these uh, paints you have to mix them shake them really bad these paints because otherwise just a second you see you have this kind of oil on top and you have to mix them shake them really 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 hard and with these paints i normally pour my paint first too and i still uh, because sometimes i don't know i think that they are a little thinner but and i will not add total just a little less than an ounce a tiny little less because if you will have this um, extreme sheen paints too thin they will totally all the other colors this one that i mixed it says aquamarine i don't know if we have the same names as you but that's how it says here uh, 
and this one has to be a little thicker you see not too much but a little if you don't want the, yeah, uh, that it will take over so and I have so <clears throat> Thank you so much, Roxy. Uh, I really appreciate all, all of you people because you are buying my art, you are my Patreons, you are donating on my PayPal. You are just so, 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 so good to me. So, <clears throat> I have some turquoises and some oranges. And I want some lighter color, so I will use this Naples yellow for just to brighten this up a little bit. And I have only Vallejo Naples yellow. As you can see, I use a lot of different brands and I don't have problems with this, so this one is Vallejo, Vallejo, I don't know how to pronounce that. And this one are thicker too sometimes, so I will probably need some water in this one. Oh, sorry, Roxy. You see, this is one-to-one -one ratio with Vallejo paints. And you see what I get. You see? Find out uh, <clears throat> the consistency that you want to get. And then you will have to correct it with water or uh, if um, you use Floetrol. But... For this reverse flower dips, I didn't have any luck with float roll. I did live, I don't know, about half a year ago in December, I think, or something with float roll, and I didn't get nice results. So I don't know how it is with float roll, but I use water to get the consistency. Still too thick, you see? That's why, and I, I split. I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Normally I will have a mess, probably. I didn't make any mess till now. Yay for me! You know me, I'm a messy painter. <laughs> Theoretic. You see how much water I have to add to this paint. Paint. So that's why follow the rule. Start with if you use glue, start with one to one ratio. It will definitely work for some paints, but in add some of paints, you will have to add water to get the right consistency. This is the only way that you can do it. Still a little thick. And I have only one left. <laughs> so you can see how, how much time would take if I would do this in every video. Mix all the paints in the video. It will be two hours long. So okay. This is pretty close. You you want to get close. You don't uh, want to be exactly. You will not be able to get exactly the same a uh, same uh, consistency. I will use this bronze too. I don't know. We will see. I I when I first chose. So now when we are talking about paints, I first thought to myself okay I want to have something 
in some turquoise colors today. So um, I pick up first, pick up turquoise and this extreme sheen, turquoise paints, paint. And then I debate to myself, okay, I did a lot of purpose lately, so I will not use purpose. Turquoises and purpose are good together, we all know. I will not do reds, because I did a lot of reds too. So, oranges go well to, to, with the turquoises too. So I chose this vermilion hue, or no, it's just vermilion, and this iridescent orange yellow because this one is a little it's uh, iridescent so it will go from yellow to orange and when I see those four colors I thought okay now I need something a little darker that it will go nice with those colors so I chose this uh, blue phthalo with those with this palette or how can I say and okay now I have this and I need something that it's a little lighter too <laughs> so I chose this Naples yellow and then because I have this um, uh, extreme sheen turquoise that it will create lacing I thought okay I need something I need something in kind of orangey bronzy colors that it will create lacing too so i picked the last one so this is how i chose my choose choose chose chosen <laughs> so that's how i choose my colors i start with one color that i think that today is the day for the color and then i go from there and keep going till I I have a lot of uh, because a lot of people ask me how I chose my color combinations so that's why I tell you this uh, I'm too much pain on the uh, with huh? about crackings I I still have this one that is done uh, on my lesson with Roxy. <laughs> it's not varnished, it's just dry, still just dry. And you see, it didn't crack. It is different than my pouring medium, but it didn't crack. So, and it is a lot of paint on it. So, I don't know, I, I didn't have this... Um, problem but you saw i used um, amsterdam brand i used pebeo brand i used uh, vallejo and extreme sheen i don't know about i'm not sure about liquitex paints so maybe or artist loft paints maybe the paints are the ones that don't, don't work with this um, mixture i don't know you have to you have to explore and um, we youtubers or how can i say we can help you that we can try some things that you want to see and uh, that you don't ruin as much paint and canvases and everything so uh but um, as you know in different countries we have different products so uh, i will get some elmer's glue and that when i will you see and this one is too thin so that's why i normally mix not <laughs> normally put paint but now i'm talking so i I didn't do it right because if I would have this extreme sheen as thin as it was it it lacing but I don't want want it to get to take over okay 
So this is it about mixing paints. I never do that. I never do that with the scale. Only when I have some private lessons with somebody, but for my purpose only, never. Because it just... Uh, I don't know, I just do this by the feeling. But you will get the feeling when you will do as much um, mixing as we do. I just have to mix a little more black because I think that I have to too little black. Um, you will get this, this feeling that you will know, okay, I poured about half a cup of uh, pouring medium, so I will pour some uh, paint and mix and then add more. So, oh, so how long am I pouring? I start pouring in August two years ago, so it is two years now since i start pouring uh, and i just couldn't find all the products that all of those people have i watched a lot of um, julie from pouring your heart of hard out of course Anne marie riddlehoff was the first one that i saw uh, and then I just play with paints, consistencies, different products that I could can buy here in Slovenia. Uh, and then someday I will tell this story and then we will go to pouring. And someday I have some, had some uh, leftover paint from my, one of my pores. <clears throat> And I people doing dips, they all lift you, their canvases like this, or this, or this. And I lift it up like this. And when I turn my canvas, I saw a flower. So I said to myself, wow, I can do a flower with, a, with dip. And that's how the flower dip <laughs> became a flower. They start to pour paints um, in pur in purpose, the way that I know that I will get a flower. And um, then I start to to use a plastic on top, you know, to to get the flower. And when I post post pictures on the Facebook, a lot of people ask me, "How did you do that?" And I just it was it it is hard to 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 explain so one day i just put my phone on some cappuccino boxes and film my video because it was easier to 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 tell people on facebook okay i i have a video on youtube so you can check because i just couldn't understand uh, couldn't uh, explain the way that people would understand and that's how i start my my youtube channel <laughs> and here i am i start publishing in uh, march last year so it's le less than two years that so i start pouring in august september october november december January, february march so about Six months after I start pouring, I start publishing my videos. And here I am at 155 subscribers. So this is the story. Uh, it's like a fairy tale for me, <laughs> isn't it? It sounds like a fairy tale. tale. Because um, I didn't start my channel, start it... I just publish that people see what I was talking about. And this is what, how this become, become this channel. So, um, 
Paper towel is not working for me. Uh, uh, I don't... I think that uh, paper towels are different too. So, I use that kind of paper towels. They are European brand. Again, you probably can buy it in States. They are... I think they have two layers, you see, but uh, they don't split. And of course, you will pull up some paint, but uh, with pulling up your paint, your paint will go, will slide one on top of each other, and this will create your lacing effect. So... You have to have enough paint on your canvas that you will still have enough paint when you will lift your your um, napkin. So let's start pouring. A lot of talking, a lot of mixing, but I thought that maybe sometimes it's nice to do that on live video too, so that you can see. Uh, any other questions? Spray. spray. Yes, I spray my paper napkin with water. I will show you today how much I spray it because I will probably have... Because you have to have clean space when you spray your paper napkin. You can't put it on your uh, paint or something because you will transfer that paint on your canvas here so you have to spray it on the clean space I will try to show you today I hope that I will not have too much mess here I just have to make some room because I have all the paints here and everything need to do this oh and before I start mix my paints I grab some cardboard or something and I grab my pearl white and put a little pearl white here and I grab I will do with this one because it's dark and do a puddle on top And then I blow here in the middle. You will not be able to see that. And then I watch if I get a reaction. If I get some lacing, so the mixture should work. This is how I check. You see? And uh, you can do that with extreme sheen paints too. Because these three paints should create lacing. My pearl white mixture and both of extreme sheen. Co. Let's, Oop, maybe it is a little thick, I don't know. And I will do the same paint on top. blow and you see this is a check <laughs> for your consistency or that you will see if something if this should work but this is still not um, you still not be sure uh, that everything will go okay even if you get this right so any other questions before i start mm, is that effect from just paint and water lacing sagio no Pearl, me, pearl white medium Vallejo, pearl white medium mixed with white or some extreme sheen Descartes extreme sheen paints if you want to get a lacing. Other, 
otherwise you will get just a flower without the lacing uh, what about lifting uh, you you ask Cassandra about lifting um, a paper napkin Priscilla no I didn't use any silicone of any of these paints. I use silicone if I do open cups or um, flip cups or something that I want sell. So what is pearl medium? Pearl medium is this. But uh, there are a lot of pearl mediums. I know that sergeant pearl medium, I think, don't work. And I know that Liquitex iridescent medium don't work. So I don't know what is it here in this Vallejo, Vallejo pearl medium, but this, this one works. So I know that it's hard to find, but that's how it is. Aha, uh -huh, Cassandra, about paper napkin. So um, when I put my napkin down just a second I have to go a little higher maybe you have to be careful when you're lifting you see you don't want to lift high right away because if you if you imagine that you have your flower here you try to go as low as you can and try to get key, um, grab your corners it's hard you see how it's hard because the napkin is not uh, dumped with water that's why i dump it with water because it's more flexible it's not so stiff so it's hard to show this with the without everything so <clears throat> Uh, just see if, uh, LM Raider, um, Linda, uh, yes, I like to have my paper napkins bigger because if your paper napkin is the same size as your canvas, when you will try to lift your corners, you will already lifting the paint where your pattern is. And it's more likely that you will ruin it while you you lifting it. So it's easier to. This is for me. Some people like um, differently, but I I realize that if I would have I don't know maybe I can, you know, if I have paper towel the same size as, uh, and if there is if there is my flower pattern underneath and when I will try to get those things together you see you will already pick your paint and if you will do this or this a little this or this it will ruin your pattern underneath that's why I love to use bigger napkins that my canvas is okay anything else uh, yes, it works on wood. Sagio, it works on wood too. So, okay, so let's start. But we will not just talk all, the, all this evening. <laughs> I will just... This is 10 by 10 inch canvas, so... I poured about three ounces of paint on my canvas because you have to have quite a lot of paint base base on your canvas otherwise paint from your cup will not flow nice and you will not get uh, nice petals they will more paint then I I need and then you know I show that on camera already but for those who don't know 
I try to whoop, pour it back to my cup. <laughs> so now you will see that it's a lot to do before I start this pouring thing. That's why it's better to not do these things on camera every time because it takes quite some time and it's probably boring for somebody but it's necessary to take to pay attention to this phase too because you want to have nice evenly smooth background for this technique because otherwise your petals will not look nice and if your petals don't look nice before you put your paper napkin on top, your flower don't get much, don't have much potential to come up as a beautiful result on, on at the end. Even if you do all this, sometimes you don't get a nice result. Neither do I, neither do I. So make sure and try to do these things right too. About the sides, it's not so important to whoop, worry about the sides because you can fix them later. And with the black, <coughs> black background, you have such a mess. I love ba black backgrounds, but I don't like to be as messy. So. I lately I will just change my gloves and then and wipe this off a little bit because it bothers me or I don't even need gloves anymore just for this black base so let's put okay We'll just wipe this off a little bit real quick. Oop. Okay. So with the glue mixture, I notice that I get much more air bubbles than with my pouring medium because I see a ton of air bubbles and I, I just mix those paints. So this is the, the reason too, but still you want to torch this before you go further, Raiko, Raiko, Ptolemy Boomin says it's a plan for you. Uh -huh, okay, never, never. And next thing that I do, I kind of try to find the middle, kind of, just a kind of. You can be more precise, but. I'm not. I just try to find kind of a middle. <laughs> yeah. So now to the the other part, pouring paint for a flower. So now I will place this in order that I want to pour. So I want to tr start with this bronze and this dark phthalo blue and then maybe pearl white and turquoise. So definitely this one this extreme sheen goes here, 
here like this and white between I have a really a lot of colors so <laughs> so when you start pouring extreme sheen paints and pearl white mixture you don't want to to pour as much as other paints so what I look when I do this I this is extreme sheen paint, so less of this one. So I start pouring here in the middle and do a little circles. And when it starts to flow over the sides, I stop. Whoop. And for the other paints, I pour till the paint hits the canvas stop see and pearl white again less when it will start pouring over stop follow i i follow and turquoise more again you see i do circles and stop because it hits, uh, where am I? <laughs> and now, pearl white again. Oop, I didn't do this okay. I didn't pour okay, okay. And pebeo, orange. You see, I do a circles. That's why how I try to force paint to to spread evenly. And now extreme sheen aquamarine less again. Oh, this one is a little thick, maybe. Okay, and Naples yellow. And pearl white, you don't need to add um, extreme sheen or pearl, pearl white between every layer, but what is wrong with this cup, you see? And Amsterdam vermilion. I want this one last and I just help paint to to flow down when I um, blow I just have to wipe my my uh, cup with pearl white because it just flows so weird no, I'm quiet. Okay. And you can leave it like this or you can switch. So let's switch this. Uh, and what I normally do in this part, I will grab this last color that I poured. So orange in our... Uh, flower and I will try to bring it a little towards the outside okay and let's go again a little of extreme sheen bronze and it's darker Taylor Prussian blue let's see if this will be better for my pearl white Oop. it sounds, seems like my pearl white is a little thinner I don't know and turquoise yeah white again you see 
just doesn't flow like she has to. Uh, what was next? This one. You don't uh, have to do the same order if you don't want to. So maybe I will do a little different order this time. Okay. And Naples yellow. And I will add just this orange without pearl white. And this will be it. Okay. So now I will try to clean this and try to show you how much I so hard to have a clean space here when you pour, where you pour. That's why I normally go, go on the other table to spray my napkin. Okay, so I have my napkin on half. That's how I have, have it when I spray it. So and then I take my spray bottle with water and just spray it on the one side and on the other side. And this is all. And then I will leave it now for a second because now I will just grab again this orange and go towards the sides. Try to grab just a little of this paint over this bronze because I'm just afraid that it will react a little too much here in the middle that and I will have just this bronze color in the middle so you see you want to have a nice pattern when you put your napkin down if you will have this totally you know it will not look good so you have to pay attention on every part of the process and put your napkin down and leave it like it is if you will have air pockets doesn't matter just don't lift it and the other half because with paper napkin it's easier if you have an air underneath it's not so important but if you have plastic you will have a problem if you will have air pockets and now when I touch gentle 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 like you would gender your husband or a son or a daughter or granddaughter's grandchild or something just don't press it down don't I'm not pressing I'm just touching just to make sure that paper napkin touches all my paint don't press and here we go to the lifting part i will just wipe my hands a little bit because i'm just so sticky uh, glue mixture is more sticky than my pouring medium really is and you have sticky hands and when you lift your napkin, it's not okay to have sticky hands. Because this is another thing that it's important, very important. So watch, I'm not going up. I just, see, 
and you can't see any of the flower when I do this. If I would go higher, I will already start pour, pour, um, lifting my paint from a flower and you don't want that. And probably now we will start seeing our flowers soon on the edges. Just take time with this part. Take your time. Don't rush. Try to do it gentle and precise. And try to go lift towards where you thought that your flower center is. And up. And you know what I normally do? Do a, fla uh, a Fiona touch. <laughs> okay. And I'm happy with this. I will just torch it and leave it. Because I think that it's just perfect. So... I will not spin it, I will not do nothing, because I just love it like it is. And you can see that I did get lacing, and uh, that it's almost the same as if I would use my pouring medium. And this is... This was done with, you see, school glue. So I really wanted to show you that you can do it with the glue. But you have to pay attention on every little process. You have to be careful in every little detail. Otherwise, you will get a flower, but it will not have a nice shape. It will be... I don't know, ruined here or there, or... Um, I think that I told you today all the things that you, you need to know and you have to follow. Because I get a lot of uh, messages with some photos. Uh, I exactly followed you and I didn't get the same result. No. If you, if you will pay attention on every little detail that I told you today, you will get the flower. But you have to pay attention on every one of these details. Otherwise, it will not work. You see, and it's still developing. It will change a little more. But... You can see this shimmer of this um, metallics. It's really beautiful. Beauty, beauty, beautiful. So, now I will answer some questions. If you have some questions still. I will just lift this up and see if I did get something that I will be use on my... I can do this. Okay. Hi, Raiko. See, I put my um, here on this cardboard. See, and you can use this. I don't know for something. I just like to put it on something, and sometimes. It looks nice, sometimes it doesn't, but if you don't try, you don't know. So that's why I like to try how it will look. Okay, questions? Any questions? Have you ever done 
flowers on rectangle kind of thing on the bigger canvas and uh, I did just uh, regular dips I just happen to have one this is one of my oh, early 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 but this is just a dip you know and it has three flowers you see this is I don't know a year and a half ago when I did those so you can but um, uh, it you have to have in mind um, that uh, those three flowers will not be the same and uh, you have to think about the composition and everything so it's not so easy uh, the biggest one that I I can say that I, I, I feel that I still have enough control is one flower on 30 by 30 centimeters so this is a 12 by 12 inch if it's bigger it's harder because it's hard to lift your paper napkin um, just a second. Uh, so uh, on the way. Okay, now I can. Uh, what do I seal it with? I seal them with uh, spray varnish. This is um, Slovenian UV Protect uh, acrylic varnish. And I like it because it's so glossy. Or with resin. I have some resin pieces. I don't know. Just a second. But it's not perfect. <laughs> uh, this one is resin. You see this is my mallet smash. If you remember that one. I resined it. But it's not perfect. But for me it's okay. And I resined one today, uh, but skin on this wooden thing and then put resin on top, but it's still drying. And these, are, these were done with primary elements, so that's why you see a little bleeding. I will do a video about how I do this, but... I don't know when because I have so many projects that I don't know. So, uh, the biggest canvas for flower I said 12 by 12. Uh, uh, yes, you can use uh, whatever finish you, you want. Sagio. Mm. Oh, thank you, Marty. Oh, Do they the cells? Yes, they they grow a little, but sometimes I think that I already can see that the those will not grow as much. That they will stay. Do you see these blue ones next to yellow? The, doesn't they? Gorgeous. I love them. I really love this result. So Spiral. I will <laughs> I just um, start a series. I will uh, I have so many things in my head. You you should you should hear me sometimes. I bought this little what are they? Six by six inch. And I decided that I will, once a week, I will publish, um, I will publish one video that I will show a simple techniques to do a flower. This one is just a simple flower with some puddles. And uh, I will do with spiral and with um, circles and every techniques that I I did so that you will see that probably this uh, puddle ones 
they are not complicated. So you can, I think that everyone. What do you mean by lacing? Marty, lacing, uh, you know how lace looks like. And because with this technique, we get these effects that are not cells, but it looks like a lace. So this is lacing. They are not cells. Cells are this. And these are cells, you see? And these are from silicone. You, can, you can't get this kind of cells without the silicone that has these rings and everything. So this is done with silicone and these are cells. You see the difference, Marty? Okay, so I think that I tell everything that I, I, I have to today. So just a little close up, a close, 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 close up to, <laughs> that you will. I was hoping that I will be able. Oh, you see a little, maybe a little of this iridescent orange but probably not but i think that you can see pretty much i don't know what you think i think it's gorgeous i love it and i hope that i gave you some courage to try again with uh, all this information that i give you today about the glue mixture and i hope that you will get some nice results too and i hope that i will see some so uh okay <laughs> i think that this is it for today and see you on the next one bye